my eyes were not deceived. Yet so far south, you, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your deeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Mm. Couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Grotore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters. Reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly, they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Rarely my want to turn down a damsel in distress. Even less so when there's a... <clears throat> Prize involved. Ah, naturally. Why, you, sir, are no knight errant, but a guildsman, an expert. How much would you need? Master, forgive me, but you ask much too much. A few crones less, master. A fistful, I beg you so. A few crones less, master. A fistful, I beg you so. Yes, that amount I am prepared to pay. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Grotore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. I say, is that Garrett? Sir, come to me, please. Approach. Jaw-dropping man comb awaits no, a no, chalet witcher. Surely you've techniques. You'd care to test and no, demonstrate. No, let's not do anything rash. Thank you. 
looks like a neat-witted Nancy to me. If his tongue's as tied as I think, I'll knock him down with one blow. <laughs> Do you wish to jump in? Considering it. So you're not surprised. Consider this as well. Here, intellect counts as much as strength. You see, Mancom is no ordinary fighter. Mancom? First I've ever encountered that name. One should never judge an opponent by his name. Master Mancom is a saddler, though a valiant one at that. His blows are as fierce as his riposts are sharp. Fine. Let's start. Oh, my knees quake like a carnival rattle. Let's get on with this ridiculous battle. I'm a top taunter, the best around, not one to be beaten by some inbred hound. Fancy insults, not my thing. No other more effective means. Though a man of few words and even fewer jests, the Witcher is ever a fighter. Geralt has vanquished Mancombe. Two more champions to defeat before you can challenge the Maestro. Still Waters is to be found in Oatville, not far from Mountbank Alley, while Colossus fights in the largest courtyard in San Sebastian. <laughs> Come here, be nimble, be quick. Refix of Forhorn, so content to see you. Le Papillon Troubadour, remember? Hey there. You know what? The whole Ravix thing? Only ever a joke. Call me Geralt, please. Geralt of Rifia? Naturally! How did it ever escape me? You must know, I'm a devoted fan. Hm. Thanks. Of Master Dandelion. I know the bards, every ballad in this cycle about the Witcher. Oh, I cannot believe my luck. Need something from me? Indeed. A matter most magnificent. My coiffeur, Jean-Louis Lotovic, has gone missing. Now, you shall rescue him while I compose an epic ballad about it. Listen, fair folk, to a glorious tale of a missing friseur and a witter who'd prevail. What happened exactly? Claim the hairdresser's missing, but are you sure? Yes, yes. I've no doubt something's transpired. Something terrible, absurd. Jean-Louis is never late to work. He's punctual to a fault. I'm certain he'd be honored if I am the one to sing of his dramatic rescue. Who's gonna pay me to find this barber? I will. Such opportunities come knocking rarely. 
but you must take me with you, for I must transcribe all that occurs as it happens. Fine, but unusual as contracts go, it'll cost you more. Naturally. To be expected. Yes, by all means. As you wish. Fine, see what I can learn. Now, if you have to come with me, just one request. Stay out of the way. Mine and my swords. Of course. You shan't even notice me. Jean-Louis Studio is just there. Right here. Ah! What's the matter? I've hit upon the perfect ending. And all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. Thought this was about a witcher and a coiffure. What's the Duchess got to do with it? Her grace can be as fickle as the cult she writes. Today, all remember my fine couplets at the tourney. Yet tomorrow, her illustriousness bought by her breakfast might demand a new epic poem. One must grab at opportunity before it flits away. Well then, where shall we start? At the door, by breaking it down. I have this burning, stopping sensation in my ribs. Pomade jar. Strong floral fragrance. <coughs> uh, mm. Very strong. Scissors are completely dull. No way you could use these to cut hair. Any fine? This jar is empty too. Dried blood. Nice. Flecked with flesh. Locks untouched. No attempt at forced entry. Le Papillon, you lucky scoundrel. The coiffure's log. A manicure, curling, Cintrian pendulum, Rivian ponytail, raftsman's do. Hmm, long out of style in Novigrad. Ah, uh, his appointments. Last one was a certain Lady Le Pompadou. Know her? Yes, a dear old bird. Jean-Louis done her hair for a decade. Completely harmless. Sketch here. Looks like a map. This mean anything to you? Hmm... I may understand where it points. But if so, there's not there. Just fields and meadows. Think I understand. As do I! Perhaps... Around he looked, yet all was quite proper. I see razors, pomades, but no blasted hair chopper. Mind being quiet for a minute. Think I might know what happened to the hairdresser. No evidence of a break-in, no signs of a struggle. To my mind, he just went out to find ingredients for his pomade. Looks like he ran out. Of pomade. Yes, indeed. He'd have gone into the meadows beyond the city to gather flower petals for it. Trolls must have devoured him. Or a cyclops. 
Splendid either way. Think you could find the place using his map? Naturally. Lead the way. Get shone in its eyes, your glow. Sent marking times like Curtis equal flow. They shake the witch, you on the beast. They ventured beyond walls by vines entwined. Into the unknown, the poor barber to find. Gonna do that the whole way. Bidding them farewell, the gravestones must covered. They strode briskly on by doubts unencumbered. <sighs> What beast was that? An Arcaspor. Might there be more nearby? Who knows? And your sharpened senses, what do they say? That you'd rather turn and run. Oh, <laughs> a primo jest. Let us continue onward. I know you'll stand in my defense. You will, will you not? On to the second point on the map. The witch's blade flash juices spouted and poured, covering all about in an archispore's gore. There! Jean-Louis Pasquet! I'd recognize it anywhere. He was Basket here. We can battles. be certain now. Same smell as the pomade. Trampled. Multiple sets of footprints. A little blood. Seems you were right. He ran into trouble. Phew! What luck! I just hope it's not Cyclopes. Hard pressed to find a rhyme for that. So? On his trail yet, are you?
stones made of rock, trails gone cold, wandered deeper into the cave. Why? A talk so dark as to brought one to fear. Fear uninspiring, no rhymes at the ready. Chains. Little tooth, they know they'll be punished in pain. Quiet down. Pure poppycock, you beard mangler! The latest rage in some bomb botched covir. We're in Nilfgaard, you bong munch! What did he do to you? What did he do? He quaffed me, gave me a duck's ass, an ape drape, a beaver paddle. I don't even know. So ashamed I couldn't attend the tourney. I'd have proved my valor. Mamma Sel Vivian did have my prize. Then this scallywag with his talk of the rage. Missed my chance by the hair on my head. Got him back good from what I can see. That is but the start. I've not yet decided if I should snip off something more. Doesn't seem terribly chivalrous. What about honor? Your oath on the peacock? All that. I do vow on the noble bird I shall gut you if you do not skedaddle. On guard! Stand and fight! I challenge thee! And you boys dare not intervene! By golly, by gum, this will be chivalrous! Listen, children, a story you shall hear Of a witcher who walloped a rogue knight's steady hair I'll spoon out your entails! Then do the same to the fuck hand in hand! Grown rather late. I believe we'll be on our way. Le Papio, Le Biodas wounds. You saved me at the last second. You're welcome. Jean Louis Ludovic, I presume. Let's get out of here before he. Quiet! Both of you! I've got it! They froze in their fear, the knight's henchmen and squires, while his bow will set loose, heaven would spiral. The witcher cleft him in two lacerated. His neck swing the swine adroitly castrated. With one more caress from the witcher's blade, the knight's guts popped out, his breakfast betrayed. They hobbled a pace on his stamp arms like crutches, all for the glory of her grace, the Duchess. What about my pay? I've decided you should receive a reasonable share of the royalties. Payable, let us say, semi-annually. Meaning you're broke just now. <clears throat> I owe you a thousand thanks, Master Witcher. I, I'll gladly pay your reward. Not to mention trimming you when you see the need that come by. Hmm, thanks. Take care now.
Giddy up. Slower. I liked you from the start. Every witcher I've known has been a swell lad. Boring. Well, did something awful this year. Welcome. Herbs freshly picked, dried, powdered. Whatsoever your heart desires. Let me see what you got. Herbs, schmerbs. But how about some wet, eh? Came up with did something awful this year.
Greetings. A witcher from the school of the wolf. Here in Tucson. Greetings. I'm Lazar Lafar. Geralt of Rivia. Seemed pretty enthused. Got a job for me? Rather. Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality, Grandmaster level. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. These diagrams somehow wound up in Tusa. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches firsthand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master. How'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete witch armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. Where do I look for these diagrams? I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, cat, bear, and manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Tucson from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at the Termas. He warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termas. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the witcher disappeared without a trace. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He 
had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lorne, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a Witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw, was it really a witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair, and it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tiensail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear-head medallion that hung from his neck, I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a Witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with a drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. Folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. Still, you may want to start your search there. What do you have on offer? Farewell. Good luck on the path. Talk the lard of the Duquesa herself. Welcome, good sir to Dupont and Sons' emporium of diverse merchandise. Satisfaction guaranteed. Show me what you got back there.
Instead of chatting, why not a quick game of Gwent?
Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair! The scar! Ah, the frown! It's all perfect! Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, Afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint affords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Don't see why not, long as it doesn't take long. It shan't, never worry. We've but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Three cheers for the Tourney's victor! Hip hip hooray! 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 Ladies, come knights, come mates, come birds, come adventure lovers. Welcome back, Master. Need to get going. Till next time. In its eyes, your glow sent marking times that courtesy could flow. Open to fire. the lively and spry from Easywood. Greetings and welcome, sir. Toussaint is home to the best wines in the world, and I've the best wines in Toussaint. Show me what you got. See if something catches my eye. for a round of Gwent?
think of the last night. I won't go. I simply won't do it. Disperse! The exhibition of the Reginald Daubry Monument will remain closed until but Please disperse! The exhibition is closed! What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Our pride and joy, Reginald Daubry, a giant among lovers, a poking puncture in swordsman, and atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Mm -hmm. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Somebody stole the testicles of a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket, that is, thus, you must retrieve those stones. You've got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Who would not want it for himself? Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must, as long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Dried bloodstain. Don't worry, Reginald, don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. It will all work out. He's a coat fabric cut on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Truly, to send a witcher against the beast, it's as if one sought to trip the clap of creeps. Come 
Ladies come knights, come mates, come lords, come adventure lovers, it's flying in hordes. Interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, tumbled, and landed where she already lay. Psst! Hughes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> that's not my husband. You mean, not... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Calm down. Just here to talk. I... I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off, you're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain everything. Um, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that fancy pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! Prepare for a shelikin, skeleton! What the laugh's this? Rosalinda! One, I could forgive you, but two at one time! Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool! I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond! I got no time for this. Go home. Y yes That'll be best. I... I'm done here. have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. Uh, Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right, I admit I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I were three times and counting. Three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age. That's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen. Perhaps we might strike a deal. Hmm? Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They... They've made me young again. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But... But if you were to leave them with me for a day or two... Uh, three at the most. Shit out of luck. Sorry. At the day's end, it's good I had a chance to use them at all. 
Silver locks? Looking for diversion? Oh. Never you are! Have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! It's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Face off against still waters, shall you? Shall you? I'd like to know who I'm punching. This knight won't reveal his name or face, won't say anything at all, not a word. Rein in your curiosity, sir. A knightly vow is no idle promise. Still waters shall conceal both face and crest until such time as one defeats him. So, will you fight or not? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> Noble lords and virtuous ladies, another fight is soon to begin. Gentlemen, the Witcher defeats the previously invincible Stillwaters. And what about it was? Freed of his vow, the knight can now show his face. Your blows are strong and true. My congratulations. Thanks. Have you naught to add? I'm a woman. 
No wry remarks? What for? It's the 13th century. Nothing peculiar about it. Women own taverns, run farms, and fight. Will you not claim there was no honor in fighting a wench? No. I'd expect to hear that from someone who was afraid to lose to a woman. Now only Colossus stands between you and a chance at the Maestro. San Sebastian, that's where you should go. Look for the largest courtyard. You gave me the... Can't afford a barber. Uh. a man in search of exertion. Hey, White Locks, do you dare to fight Colossus? Colossus? Interesting as monikers go. Or is that what his mother called him out of the womb, too? Why would she not have? Colossus, it rings out with pride and passion. So, will you fight? <laughs> Fine, let's fight. Ah, boring. I'm not interested. Quick I am, too quick for you. It'll be knick-knack, patty-whack, kiss your arm bone. Where's the sport in it? Don't want to fight? Why bother looking for challengers then? Wasting my time. Oh, a bit testy, are we? A witcher, right? Let's do it like this. You parry three blows I throw your way, you win. But you can't swing at me, not once. Just deflect my blows, got it? Catch three of them and I'll toss you double your wager. Feeling that generous? No, I just know you can't do it. No one's ever done it. Too fast, see? So, willing to try for three blocks? Fine. Dad will have any trouble deflecting a few blows. That I get. At long last, one with a sportsman's soul. Now, listen. The rules say you're not to start your parry until I've cocked my fist. Standing with your guard ups, not allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, witness a most peculiar fight. How shall I say this? The Witcher has accepted a colossal challenge. has parried Colossus's blows. No one's ever managed that feat. Here's your due. Thanks. You've earned my esteem, sir. We've not seen such a feat in years, and thus you've secured the right to challenge the maestro himself. You'll find him by the docks. <laughs> Better to die of drink than of boy. You could make yourself. 
some free advice which this where I find the boxer they call the maestro maestro champ the undefeated Folk call him many things. You are the witcher who dropped the three lesser champions? I am. Come to fight the maestro, but seems to me he's indisposed. Alcohol is the maestro's remedy for his crippling shyness. He's a delicate man, you see? He'd never so much as hit a pillow while sober. Fighting sober is like dancing to silence. Forget fighting. Sure you can stand? You're blind drunk. Not sure bum-bopping business. Ah, you cheat, you chat while my vodka's gone flat. Will you fight, yay or nay? Let's go. I challenge you. Hold on. Whoa. I'm a man of principle. I keep to a code. I don't tinkle where I eat, and I don't fight folk who don't drink. Meaning? Meaning you're to drink, or hey diddle diddle out of here. Sheesh. Fine. Mesdames, messieurs, the maestro will perform at last. Let's do this. Hey, welcome, Dad. Under it, boss. Yes. Not too big to surrender. happened in years. Your fists, they're glorious. Thanks. I'm gobsmacked I am. I have to drink it off. Oh, good fight. <laughs> to speak through, I'm pleased you stripped me of the title. I shall have more time to pursue my chief interest now. Which your Geralt of Rivia is hereby crowned Fisticuffs champion of Beauclair. Bravo! <laughs> Behold, your trophy. A life without liquors like loving without licking. Hospital! 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 Hospital!